Welcome back to the magical world of Layers of Fear in virtual reality. As we continue with our masterwork, we have to finish our painting and also come to terms with the horrible things we did in our life. Both things go together, you see. I cannot go through this door. Someone really want, doesn't want me to go through it. Is it my own mind? What is the context here? Are we dead? Are we like going through a haunted version of our house? Our mind house? Look at me. Like paintings, look at me and like try to scare me or something. What is the, what is the not this nonsense? None of the paintings are trying to scare me. Okay, there we go. Like the, the piano moving a little bit. Here we go. Give me a little startle. Something. Good work, piano. Good work. It, see, it's covered with chains. Uh, the re piano represents our wife. Our wife's passion. She was a musician. She played the piano. Uh, so it represents our, our wife. Uh, and it's covered in chains. Our wife being locked off to us. And our wife being locked off to life. There's like something outside. Is that our wife? It was like a wiggling woman. Like Lisa from uh, PT. Because, you know, this game is... Uh, it's one of those games from the era of... Hey. Oh, there she is. It's one of those games from the era of... I want to make a PT. And that's what we're doing. Oh, is there something in there? Haunting mimics, knock, 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 not gonna let him in. Only clothes left behind. If you say so. There's nothing on the spines of these books. I want to see what they're called. I cannot. So our wife is in the house somewhere, and she's wiggling. She's got, like, an itch on the small of her back. She can't reach it. She would like for us to... <laughs> to get that for her. Hmm. How symbolic. Creator's block. A metaphor, you might say. Well, I can't... I can't go advance... Well, I can't advance. Unless I do this. Okay, no, no. Like, the wall, like, pushes back if I stick my head out in front of... Into it. <clears throat> they had... They thought of that. They thought of that. Oh, no! The door's gone! How can this be? Rooms changing as I look around. Knock, knock. Oh, can I like try to take it? No, no. I cannot take the creator's block. What if I close the door? No, that did not do anything. I find myself in a room with no exits representing the creative process. I need to find a way out. I need to find a way to finish my masterpiece. Eh. Eh, eh, eh. Oh no, that door's gone too. How can this be? Now there are no doors. Oh, now there is a large door. Light bulb needs to be changed. Oh. Okay. Time for a nap. Just sit down on the bed, lie down. No. No time for a nap. We have to discover the root of our trauma. We have not discovered it yet. <clears throat> oh. oh, that's locked. I can't get in there yet. June. Don't forget. June 9th. Can't pick that up. Ugh. Ah! That'll happen in these old houses. The old houses are settling. They're creaking during the night. Sometimes the doors just explode off the hinges. It's a risk you take when buying one of these old man manors. Is 
that one of uh, our daughter's works of art? She appears sad. Of course, we would just critique this. They're nowhere near as good as our stuff. Nowhere near. Where is our daughter? We need to yell at her for being a bad artist. This is the problem with buying one of these big houses. Not many people in this house. It's, you know, three people. Husband, wife, kid. Looking for the kid. She could be anywhere. So many places to hide. Hide from our artistic critique. That is. Big dominoes. Oh, I guess I can't pick that up. It looks like something I could pick up. No, nothing in there. Books. Books, books, books. Many books here. Can't even get into this room anymore. They just collected too many books. I would say it looks like we entered a library, but kind of the whole house is a library, isn't it? Oh, there's a key over there. Gonna have to get to that ladder to get that key. Like, most of this house is just containing books. Puff, puff. Getting stuck on that table a little bit. All right, can I grab this? Well, I can climb it, but can I push? I can push, good. There's no prompt on it, so I wasn't sure. Okay, but we can climb hand over hand. There we go. Give me that. There we go. Got that. There we go. I seem to be stuck in the ladder. There we go. There we go. Never mind me. Just like super supernatural antics. Me getting stuck in the ladder. It's fine. It's fine. Hmm? Is that a phone? Phones don't usually sound like that. Dear sir, if I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you have previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly. I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin, or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mention do not seem to be physiological but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation, re rehabilitation program. Sincerely, Robert Richards, MD. Another fucking quack. Uh. So... Apparently our wife, well, we knew that she's having issues. Apparently she has a big old unchanging smile. Yes. Well, there was something on the floor, but it was so dark I couldn't tell what it was. Uh, and we are very upset that the doctors cannot fix her. Just excuse after excuse. More torn up papers. I assume this is more correspondence from the doctors saying, No, I'm sorry, that's not how things work. It's not how it works, sir, I'm sorry. We can- Oh, there we go, there's the phone. Hello. 
No? Hold on. No? No? Okay. I thought I would pick up the phone. Apparently, I am not picking up the phone. All right. Got this again. Is this the same thing? Hold on. Let me get that. Get. Get. There we go. Uh, yeah, same thing. Same thing. Okay, so we're in a loop. Can I just pick this up? It's ringing. My hands do nothing. My hands do nothing with this phone. All right, let's keep walking around. Phone's gone. Phone's back! How frightening. Look, I want to pick up the phone. It just, I can't seem to. come from, by the way. Yeah, someone just throws it up here. Uh, maybe let's try walking the other way. Oh, maybe that's the correct thing? Hello? Yes, speak. I guess we had a phone call, we did not like what we heard, so we threw the phone away. Just threw it away. Right, okay, that's what I- okay, we're on the- Alright, we're on the bottom of that, and that was when the phone was thrown down. These are the pieces of the ph oh, I can pick it up here, okay. Yep. Let me- Let me get- Hello? Hello? Yes, speak. Yes. Hello? What? What? what fire? fire. Oh, God. Is she... Which hospital? I'm on my way. Eh, he was infuriated by the news. His beloved wife burned. Threw the phone off the balcony. Okay, looks like we're out of that. That little loop right there. Restless memories. Hey. It's very rude. Just hold the door shut when someone's trying to come in. Shattered thoughts. Hey, this room's- hey, this room's upside down. What's this funny business going on here? When I bought this house, I don't remember anyone saying nothing about upside down rooms. Can I grab that? No, I, I don't think I can. Uh... I th that might- it's dark. Yeah, I think that's a door, but it's upside down, so I can't open it. What's this funny business here? Someone's playing tricks. No, that's locked. All right, we cannot go back, only forward. Twirling, twirling towards progress. What can we interact with here? No, no, eh? no. Anything in the center here? No. I don't suppose there's a light switch. Oh, there is. There we go. There we go. 
And now everything's back to normal. What a strange house this is. Flapping horror? Be quiet. Constantly flapping. Eating other rats? What is this bat thing? It perplexes me. The flying mouse. Ah, it's windy. Oh, it got like pushed back? I think. Oh, it stopped. Is that how it's supposed to look? Oh, the hallway's like kind of messed up now. I, I guess that's like what was going on. Hope is the mind killer. Uh, but that's not how the saying goes. It's been a while since I read that book, but. Is this not closed all the way? No, it's closed all the way. There we go. Abandon hope while you can. There's a rat. Those exterminators don't believe us. We'll give them the proof someday. We'll do it. Alright, got like a wine cellar here. Those candles don't do too much. I can't take a candle with me, considering how dark it is. All right, three doors to pick from. Let's choose left. Center. Then it has to be right. What? What is this? It's like I'm trapped in some sort of prison of the soul. Trapped in the twisted corridors of my own tortured mind. Ah! Twisted indeed! We have motion detecting basement lights. Fancy. There's like an effect where, yeah, 
like the cloth that's on the this furniture is like disintegrating. I'm not really sure why. But it's happening. Just want to make sure, you know, we all saw that. Eh. Dangling dread, patient, thirsty, furry leeches afraid to look up. Those would be rats. We hate them rats. We know that. We know that about us. We don't we do not like them. We have an infestation. The exterminators do not believe us. That's a neat thing for a piano to be able to do. Incorporate that into your con your concerts. But the music has to keep playing for the furniture to keep floating. All the furniture's gone. Maybe that's the price you pay. Like, you can do the cool furniture floating around trick with your piano performance, but once it's done, you lose all the furniture. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. All right, we found our third object. Third of six for the art cabinet. Oh, the furniture's back. We got the furniture back. We have skin for the canvas, blood for paint, bone which we mix with white paint to complete our masterpiece. You understand. And back, we're back here. Mm hmm. Let's put on that white paint. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if this is really coming together. Yeah, there's our bone. What's going to come next? Okay, so we have skin for canvas. We have two colors of paint. We have the blood red and the bone white. What should be next? Well, I mean, I'll leave it up to the artist. I, don't, I really don't know if this is coming together, to be honest. What if you fail? I mean, being an artist is failure. That's a big part of it. That's It's constantly failing. And maybe you won't fail as hard the next time. Maybe. Um, let's continue on with this, but let me just quickly first stop and start the recording again, just to... Not sure how long I've been going, so... Doesn't feel like that long, but let's just make sure. Give me a sec. All right, let's continue on. Let's get that fourth piece. Ignore her. All right, if you say so. But isn't that our loving wife? What if I want to kiss? Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. It's like a big blob or maybe a tarp. Hard to say. Some serious art was happening in this room, it looks like. Is 
Sometimes you need your little your little private room just for the kind of art you don't want anyone else to see. Yeah, I'm going in this little closet with my paints. Uh, I'll be back out in an hour. Don't look inside. Well, it looks like we're getting some child's drawings. Is the child going to show up? Drunk. Apparently, yes. Apparently, we are. That was mentioned earlier. Selfish. Yeah? That's the impression I'm getting. Delirious. Well, I don't know if we're delirious. I mean, I guess considering we're going through all this. Seems like maybe that might be the case. <clears throat> hmm. Angry person with knives. I wonder who that is. Who does that represent? I don't think... That's not a thing, nah. Is it someone's birthday? <sighs> hey, what is that? Wait, what day is it? It's Sunday? You mean I... Oh, well, why didn't you come and get me? God damn it! You know how I get when I'm caught up in my work! Oh, uh, we missed the birthday. We said we would be there, and we weren't. We lost track of time, only thinking about our painting. And, you know, the wife and kid didn't come get us because they know how we get. No point even trying to talk to us when we get this way. to fix that squeak 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 yeah we hate those rats we hate them why doesn't anyone believe us about the rats Chandelier fell. Baby shoes. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Jesus. Did you just buy Jesus. half of the department store? Honey, you don't even know yet if it's going to be a boy or a girl. Oh, what if? What if the fire was the result of a gender reveal party gone wrong? The piano exploding with a pink explosion. Scarring our wife. No, oh, hey. No, not there. The game does like the thing where you turn around and things are different. They do like that trick. Ah! I, ha I had to move most of the dolls out of her room. It was getting ridiculous. You can't just throw gifts at her whenever you feel guilty for whatever it is you feel guilty of. She needs a father, not another useless distraction. 
look, I feel guilty about not being there for my child, but at the same time, I don't want to take the time to be there for my child. I have to spend all my time on my artwork. You understand. Let's first see what's down here. Got a pulsating heart on the wall. That's quite neat. I mean, we criticize our child's artwork, but she was able to draw an animated picture. Like, we can't do that. More fruit. I wonder if our daughter likes all the fruit. I'm so sick. Oh, yeah. Sick and tired of talking through the notes. We've seen that before. could pick up the bell, but I can't ring it. Hmm. Let's see if there was something down here. Ah! I got hugged! Hugs out of nowhere. Well, you know, maybe our wife's permanent smile, maybe that just represents how happy she is to see us. Talking behind our backs. Who's talking behind whose backs? Could be anyone, really. Really got to clean up all these books. Becoming a hoarder. Also, considering how many crayons we see lying around and how she's been drawing everywhere, maybe we need to set aside a room of the house for, her, for it to be her workshop, you know? Like, we have a workshop... It seems like she probably needs one at this point, considering all this. Gotta keep it all contained. Gotta keep the creativity contained to the designated creativity room. Ah, it's a doll. The doll was crying a little bit. Now the dolls in pieces. No, it's actually many heads. It's many doll heads. Then they fell. It's all very symbolic. There's a doll over there, but I cannot interact. Okay, here's a light. There we go. Another light. There we go. Oh, doll's over here. Hmm? Did the doll move? I don't see where the doll went. Oh, no, there's a, well, that's, no, there's a doll over there. Okay. Dolls moving around. Another doll up there. Got some floating dolls. Many dolls around. A wheelchair? What? But, but how? Huh? A wheelchair? I don't, huh?
doll. Where do we go from here? Doesn't seem like I can interact with Doll. Okay, there we go. I just had to get close enough to Doll. There we go. There we go. Should we follow the child? Well, I, it seems like the child is just going to lead us around and around. Yeah. That seems like a wild goose chase. Child not looking where they're going. Also, there is that one... Okay, they, they didn't fix it for this. Yeah, there is that one video of this being triggered repeatedly. Where... They didn't fix it for this version. Where is it exactly? So, like, just... A, I'm almost at that house. think that they would have fixed this at some point. I mean, this is the most entertaining thing in the game so far. So, let, let's see exactly where is it. Like, a, about, like, right here? Like, it's a, right about... Yeah, that's the point. That's the point. It seems like... Is there like a limited number that can spawn at once? No. No, there's not. You, th I don't think there's a limit, a limit to how many can do, can do that. Uh, if we go the wrong way, then we have to do it again. You think someone would have noticed this? It's real easy to do. Baby head. There's like hands around it. Yes. Mm hmm. All right. I thought I thought that was kind of nice, like walking towards the red light and there was someone there. But uh, all right, didn't really do anything. All 
Oh. I had the most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to me, embraced me, loved me, as he once did. But we both know that while I dreamed my silly little dream, it was you. It was you he really lusted for. Who are we talking to? I mean, we know the only one we really lust for is our paints. Our set of paints. We love them. Oh. There's some drawing happening? What are we doing? Let me see. Let me criticize. This is terrible. What is this? Composition is awful. Anatomy needs a lot of work. The pose is childlike. I get no sense of action in this man's pose. Is he supposed to be wearing like a wide-brimmed hat? Leaves a lot to the imagination, to say the least. What's this background? What even is that? Why even bother drawing a background? <laughs> If you can't even do it, like, better than that. Disgusting. Disgusting. Well, that was our little, uh, parenting for the day. I think we were a good father. Yes. Oh, that's locked. Yes, give up like always. I mean, we're not giving up. We want to finish our painting. We got to find out what our masterpiece is going to be. Oh, that's the that's the the sigil for the triple attack from inscription. It's one that, that Mantis God has. Mantis God was the best one. I mean, there were like there's a few different good ones, but Mantis God was really good. You want that triple attack. I don't know how that would help us here in Layers of Fear, but I need a key to, to use that? Seems so. Can I turn this? Doesn't seem like it's turning. Hmm. Like, very slowly. Doesn't seem like that's how it's supposed to go. But I'm like doing full arm motions to make this move a little bit. That doesn't seem right. Nothing else works like this. Why is this like this? Well, I assume I have to turn that, but it's taking a while. Okay, here's a key. Oh, there we go. Now it's going. Ah, uh, memories of better times. Can I walk over there? No, I guess not. Seems like I can't walk over there. Well, I'm being blocked, it seems. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Something happened. Oh, no. Problems in the household. In the perfect life. The child is sad.
Oh, there we go. It's changing. Then we have the Dark Man, the Man of Shadows. Oh, shit, little baby. The night is stark. Stars fade above you. The room goes dark. Mama used to come to tuck you in. Now she's nowhere to be seen. Man, we really did get our daughter everything. We even got her the doll Vortex. You know how expensive it is to get someone the doll Vortex? You're going to like a high-end doll shop to get this put together. What's this? Hair? This was a special brush. Ah. Like a horsehair brush, but different. At that point, I hesitated. Will this really work? Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing. You know, in for a penny, in for a pound. Once you've gotten, you know, the skin canvas and the blood and bone paint, hey, what's some hair for your brush? What's a little hair that you cut off from your daughter to use as a brush? <laughs> yeah, that's a doll, right? That's a big doll. It's much bigger than the normal kind of doll that you might get. And but here we are. Our workplace, or work room, is full of dolls. The kid's been in here. She's not supposed to be in here. She knows that. She knows that. All right, let's continue on with our masterpiece. All right, like it's a person. Slowly putting a person back together. Gone. And with that, our fourth cabinet door is open. We have skin, we have blood, we have bone, we have hair. What else could be next? What else could we add to the masterwork? What other body parts uh, would be used for this purpose? I guess we'll find out as we continue on with layers of fear. You know, things are picking up a little bit. You know, some stuff has been happening. We spawned a whole bunch of babies babies who ran into walls. That was fun. That was fun, you know. Rooms are, like, changing around. You're doing the thing where you, like, turn around, and then you turn back, and it's like, ah, it's different. It's different. I mean, I guess the only question now is, when our guy said, would this really work? Well, what is he trying to do? Like, we see that he's gotten these things together to make his painting, but what does he expect the painting to do? Is he is it gonna cure his wife? Eh? 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 I'm not sure, but hopefully so. Hopefully we get the chance to kiss someone. It's not really been much in the way of kissing. Our wife did hug us. We got hugged. I did not have the opportunity to kiss. However, maybe that'll change as we continue on with the layers. The layers of fear envelop us and blanket us in its painty fearness in virtual reality. <laughs> 